deep from a bunker in a top secret location. Top secret location. In southern Indiana comes a gathering of the Gospel Bro Coalition. If it's religion, politics, cars, guns, cigars, and anything else flammable, we're talking about it. Four men by manlier men. Get it? Got it? Good. This is the Gospel Bro Coalition, and here are your hosts, Pastor Lee, J.R. Robinson, and the Hoosier Hillbilly, Mike Paul. So if you turn into the program, uh, we're glad to have you guys here. It's the Gospel Bro Coalition. Pastor Lee back after a long hiatus. <laughs> That's um, true. That means vacation for you people in New Harmony. Um, <laughs> Giving away our location. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But I've uh, been out for a little while. If you hear a lot of noise in the background, it's just because we're adding more dirt on top of the bunker. Yes. <laughs> we're adding more rooms, deeper levels. We're going deeper. Levels right. The, we're adding yeah. more levels because we we do uh, we did figure out that we could be destroyed by actual bomb. So we're going deeper yeah. to make so, sure it doesn't yeah, happen. You hear the backup beepers of the I would, escalators. Yeah, I wouldn't put anything past a, our, our dear, beloved, simple Joe leader <laughs> out there. But uh, only if it fits on his time schedule. Right? I know. Oh, I wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, go ahead. We'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> I, I miss you guys. It's it's been exciting, you know, to be away. I've actually spent the past couple of weeks infiltrating the FBI. Oh, nice. <laughs> and that was pretty good. Trying to talk them into doing actual police work, but it didn't work. So yeah. um, they don't know how to do that anymore. Yeah, I'm so disappointed in life, man. You know me, D. Snyder. You might, you might know D. Snyder. You guys don't know D. Uh, D. Yeah, Snyder. Yeah, he was... Uh, Twisted Sister, Twisted we're not sister, going to take yeah. it. Now he's coming out telling everybody to take the vaccination. Oh, is he? We're, but yeah. we're, we're not, not going to take it. it. No, we're not going to take it, we're, D. We're not going to take it. Stupid. I that, was, uh, that has been. <laughs> yeah. But it's so funny because we grew up in the 80s and you had all these guys who were anti-establishment, anti-government, and now all of a sudden they're just like, do whatever the government tells you to do. That rage Against the Machine, you know, like oh, back yeah, in the, yeah. all the liberals were like, Rage Against the Machine, it's yeah. awesome! Rage Against the Machine! Screw you! Yeah. I won't do what you tell me! Now it's, right. I'll do exactly what you tell me. Where do I sign? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty sad. Where's all the, the brave church leaders, too? Have you noticed you haven't seen a single word from any of those guys? There's church leaders left? Well, you know, it's just like when everybody was, when, when Trump was in office, everybody was like, well, you know, I just feel like uh, it's a moral imperative for me to speak out against these mean tweets and all this stuff. <laughs> And then you've got this idiot in the White House right now and all the stuff that he's doing, and they don't feel any emphasis whatsoever or any, you know, like moral responsibility to say anything now. But this guy, he's, he's, he's a real winner. My, my mother-in-law who watches television calls me all the time, and I guess they're killing Christians now, throwing them in the ditches and stuff. And hmm. over there. Over in Af- Afghanistan. Over in Afghanistan. Yeah, I missed that last week, but I'm going I'm to tell you, this is... It's amazing how you couldn't screw something up. And here's what I don't understand. He comes out with a press conference and he says, this thing that happened in Afghanistan was absolutely executed perfectly and it's all Trump's fault. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's okay, well, which one is it? Was yeah, it was bad it or was it good? <laughs> yeah, so it, the good stuff was Biden, the bad stuff was Trump. That's usually how it works. And yeah. and so, but they leave all these Christians behind. And then Tim Kennedy, one of my favorite guys, I don't know if you yeah. know Tim Kennedy. He's gone over to Afghanistan because yeah, that's what he does. And I feel sorry for those Taliban. I know because he, he's yeah. about to. Yeah, he's going crazy. I've got a, uh, you know, I don't want to speak about it too much. I'm not going to name any names, but I do. Like I told you before, I do know some guys in special forces, and they have. They say they are talking, and there's certain ones that have been talking about getting a group over there calling the Pineapple Express and going over and getting yeah, those people that out. Was, that was cool. And so they're thinking, yeah. I just I know a couple of guys who were thinking about going over and, and doing that stuff. I thought, I thought they were all out now. Right? Wasn't that the announcement? Uh, they're not out. <laughs> yeah. I heard the last flight out made it off today. Tim Kennedy that? said it's horrible over there right now. And they left all those dogs over there, man. Did they? I didn't yeah. hear about the dogs. I heard about the weapons and the Humvees and the helicopters. Yeah, I saw the dogs, too. And yeah, they left the, like service dogs, like yeah. 60 service dogs yeah, over there. Yeah, just running out and around. Yeah. And this guy, this he's a, he's a winner, man. And then they had... And then fake book came out today. I actually saw it to where they were sitting there and they were saying, oh, well, he didn't actually look at his watch till after the ceremony was over. And that's a freaking lie. That is yeah. a that yes. is a freaking fake book lie yeah. right there. 100% lie. Because the Ghost Star families that were there, the dads who were there, they were saying everybody that went through, yeah. he was looking at his watch. Yeah. 
Fake book lies. Gosh, yeah. that is such a. I, uh, these people, they're just idiots. And then they had. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw. You know, I don't. I talk about it more than you guys do. But they had the Capitol Police dude that came over there to shot Ashley Babbitt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw something on it. And that. he did an interview, and he was just like, I'm a hero. I saved countless lives that day. This is the same idiot who left his Glock in the bathroom of the Capitol building. Yeah. What? Yeah, his loaded Glock. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. But any other dude, he'd been fired. Yes. Yeah. But he's on there, and he killed Ashley Babbitt, and he's like, I'm a hero. When you have to tell yourself that you're a hero. Was Ashley Babbitt armed? No, she hmm. was not. With a backpack, I guess. So, yeah, five foot two inches tall, unarmed, climbing through a window, had cops all around her. This dude saved countless lives by shooting her. Yeah. He's such a brave soul. He is a piece of crap. <laughs> That's what he is. <laughs> Have you noticed, um, you know, it's just kind of weird because all of a sudden we went like 18 months and I didn't know of anybody who got the vid. And now everybody I know is getting it. The entirety of our county has the vid. It, it is. It is. It is. Doesn't that bother you, folks? Isn't that weird to you that all of a sudden you were like, I don't know anybody who has the Kamala, and now all of a sudden everybody you know has it. Thank you, vaccinated people, you idiots. <laughs> it's your fault. It's, yeah, it is your fault. You created this variant that's now killing everybody. And, whoa, 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 that everybody's getting. We're not seeing it kill more. Yeah, everybody's getting it now. Yeah. But I had a good friend of mine who actually, he went through the experience of it, and he was telling me all about it, and... You know, I, I would tell the story. The only way you can tell the story and make it have way sound interesting if you do it in Charlie Day's voice. <laughs> Charlie Day is so. Charlie awesome, Day is one of the way. greatest yeah. comedians it, yes. that, that nobody knows about. Yeah. And every story that you tell, if I can't do a Charlie Day voice, but if you can, if you can hear the story in a Charlie Day voice, it, it makes, makes it hilarious. Way better, yes. But he was talking about how he went and and he goes into the 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 doctor's office. He's barely, you know, he says, "I want to sleep on the floor." Remember, this is Charlie Day's voice. You know, he wants to sleep on the floor. Wants to pass out, goes in there, and the nurse says, have you been tested for the Kamala? And he said, well, I'd like to exhaust all possibilities before we go to that. All <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's, let's run through the litany of tests here. Yeah, let's do a flu test. The flu test. Yeah, let's, the, let's do a bunch of stuff. Whatever it is, yeah. What's wrong with you? Strap. <laughs> right. I've got a headache, I'm nauseous, I, you know, I've got all this stuff going on. Let's check that stuff out first. And he says the doctor walks in, and the doctor's one of these tools. You know, have you ever had a doctor who wears, like, the the V-neck scrub with no shirt underneath? He's got his chest hair popping out of the top of it. And, and <laughs> If I had chest hair, I would do that. But I, <laughs> just to I be just cool. would pull it off. <laughs> just to be cool, man. Yeah, I'd put little bows on it. It would make it look really awesome. Oh, my. But he comes in and goes... COVID test. <laughs> and the guy's like, I don't want a COVID test. And uh, and so they, they give him one anyway, come back in 20 minutes. It's like, you got COVID. Of course. Minutes. Yeah, huh? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. They did send him down, and they did. he said he went down there, and he did an x-ray on it. And, of course, he was, he's so funny because he don't know how to read an x-ray. So he just peeks back on the corner, and the whole thing's black. <laughs> now, black's good, right? The token liberal is speechless. Well, I mean, is, is the black good? What part? The, the, the picture of the lung. Is that good? Yes, it's black all... is black. Okay. Is he don't know that. White is black. So he looks to the back and goes, it's all black! <laughs> black lung. My lungs are totally closed up! <laughs> and, 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 she's, and he's like... Tell me what you see, and, and the, the girls with him is just like, well, we pay people to read these charts. <laughs> Thank goodness. But that's it, all I gotta say. But it's not what you think it is. <laughs> and uh, uh. so he didn't have bronchitis or pneumonia or any of that stuff. And so you know, he, he he says he goes in there and he sits down, and the doctor comes in, and the and the guy's like, it's he said it was so funny because it was almost like taking his temperature was an afterthought. <laughs> They it's want, like, they want to get the doctor said, do you have a temperature? It's like, no, I don't have a temperature. The doctor goes, hold on one second. <laughs> runs in there, gets that little thing, comes back, says, you don't have a temperature. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you went to medical school, medical school for all that. <laughs> they want to get you on the list first. So he comes back in, and the nurse comes in and says, you have COVID. And yeah, said, of course you do. And she said, do you know what you're of supposed to do now? And he said, go home and die. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's the only thing they're going to do for him, right? Well, yeah, that's the only thing that they, 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 seriously. He said they didn't. He said I have a headache, I have nausea, I have this stuff. They were like, 
See you. You have COVID. Get the hell out. You know. <laughs> good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Don't, don't let the door you know, hit you where the good Lord's put you. Get out of here. He walks out the door, and, and the, the the woman who checked him is like, "Hope you get the feeling better." <laughs> Give me drugs. It's like I was in the freaking emergency room, and you guys, that's all you can do. Yeah. See ya. Hope is all I have, woman. Hope is all I have. <laughs> Um, because you didn't do anything for you. No drugs, no prescription, no nothing. Just go home and drink a lot of fluids. And it's like, well, gosh, I can get that out of a in style magazine. I don't have to come here <laughs> for you to do this stuff. See, it was it. It's That'd be thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here you go. You want to rub my chest here? And it's like, I, I, you know, poor guy. I feel sorry for him. You know, so he just he just goes home and he goes, lays in bed and rides it out. And that's all I can do for yeah, him. Yeah, it's it's he, absolutely he, crazy that we don't try to treat the symptoms. He said, "How about some uh, iver, ivermectin or whatever that horse pill is?" Ivermectin. No, <laughs> ivermectin. And they were like, "Only if you get admitted." Only oh, if you get real bad. Yeah. Some of the Charlie Day voice. You mean I have to be <laughs> almost dead? <laughs> Yes. Exactly. yes, you have to be dying. Then we're going to give you something <laughs> that might or might not save your life. So, yeah, yeah. I just still don't understand why they don't treat it. Well, why wouldn't they treat the nausea? That's why I, I couldn't. He, I didn't have the answer for him. I have no idea. I, I wish I could tell you. But, um, but um, I get allergies during this time, so when I call up, everybody's like 2319. And jump <laughs> yeah. And I just, I'm, I'm <coughs> scared to death right now, but... Comment See, below if you know what 2319 is. Surely oh. you know what 2319 is. Don't tell is. them. Don't tell them. Yeah, they better know what 2319 is. Who? I said comment below. Everybody. Everybody watching. Yeah. What's 2319? Let's see how hip you are and, and yeah, all that yeah, stuff. See how relevant you are. <laughs> so, I just, I have a hard life, man. I really, but not as hard as this dude. So, you know, I'm all right. I'll take my allergies and stuff. But he like lived, that. right? Oh, of course he lived. Yeah, he's okay. fine. Of course, you got a 99.9% chance of doing it. But somebody said something today. It's like, if if you ever had a 99% chance of, of not getting cancer, but they wanted you to do chemotherapy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, I pass. <laughs> oh, thank you. That one news thing that said, if you've had the vaccine, your chances of dying of COVID are like 99.991 or, or, or of surviving it. Like, you have yeah. a 0.001 percent chance of dying of covid and then they go to the next slide on the news and say but if you don't have the vaccine your chances are 25 percent higher and it's like what's 25 times 0. 0.001 yeah they're, they're reaching now <laughs> so, Woo! i'm scared now it, it's, Watch it's out. pretty sad <laughs> yeah but i can't i can't complain about anything so 0. 0.02 0.02 uh, watch out now <laughs> watch out have you noticed how much it costs to go out and eat nowadays Every place is expensive. It's because they got to pay all their workers big bucks to work. Isn't in. it funny though? Remember how they tried to to ram through fifteen dollars an hour and couldn't do it, and now all of a sudden it's like fifteen dollars an hour. Yeah. But McDonald's the other day they had it set up to where it was like uh, you, you got a three hundred dollar bonus to do that. By the way, somebody's watching Frasier in the background. It's just always <laughs> there's always something happening. It, in the it, it's, it's always something going on here. I I fully <laughs> expect a public service alarm to be blaring some at some time. <laughs> Because you never know that nobody apparently does not understand, even though we're in there like our 20 something podcast, that we do a podcast at this time every Wednesday. <laughs> you, you want me to go check that? Somebody hasn't figured it out. Um, but I, I went the other day. So I go in there and I'm, I'm sitting down. I'm going to eat. And it's like, okay, it's eight ninety nine for a meal. All right. Sandwich okay. and, and chips. Fast food. Is this fast food? Or no, no, no. This is a meal meal. Okay. Sit down. Oh. All right. eight ninety nine. It's not bad. Not bad for a sandwich. And chips, okay? Yeah. Mm, the drink. All right. You like to do math? You want to throw a little math here, math boy? All right. Okay. We'll just, we'll just do this. Okay, so I get my meal, and I decide, no, you know what? I don't want chips. I want fries. So I had okay. fries. It's an extra dollar. All right. Okay. You're okay. going to do this stuff? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I get, I want some tea. One glass of tea, $2.25. That's expensive flavored water. Right. It actually cost him three cents to make it. Yep. But two dollars and twenty five cents for that. Then you had your tax. All right, so add that on. What state were you in? Uh, we're in Indiana, so it's like six percent. It's nine now. Oh, is it nine percent? <laughs> Day in the morning. Wow. 
Wow, thanks, government. Fast food's nine. Now. All right, so then you had a surcharge if you use a credit card. 3%. 3%, because apparently it costs them money to be able to stick it in that machine. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. And <laughs> then uh, I had to do a tip on top of that. Okay. All right, let's, let's say a $2 tip. All right. Uh, I'll give you fifteen percent tip. You're up to uh, sixteen dollars. I'm up to sixteen dollars <laughs> off of an eight ninety nine meal. <laughs> they go in there and go, "Here's your eight ninety nine meal." This is exciting. By the time you leave, you're like sixteen dollars. Well, I went. We went to Subway uh, sometime this That's week. Expensive. And for me and another guy, because this is birthday, it's like, "Oh, Bobby, a nice guy." It was almost thirty dollars. Yep. Yeah. For two if basically a, bologna sandwiches. You get a foot long and a drink. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'd have to work crazy. an hour at McDonald's just to be able to pay for a meal at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, because they pay you fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars an hour costs me sixteen dollars yeah. to eat. <laughs> but the problem is, you can't go in and eat those places. They don't have enough people to. Yeah, to run I, know, it, to dine, I know. Dine in. I know. And they these people, and they'll sit around and complain about this stuff, and then they'll leave a state and go to another state and vote for the same stupid people who implement yeah. their policies to begin with. I don't get it. If you're going to come to Indiana because you're coming from California or someplace, don't come here and vote for Democrats, you idiots. Or just don't come here at all. Yeah, there you go. That's a plan. <laughs> Stay where you are. Stay yeah. out. Because for some reason, they just they can't vote. Move to Illinois. They'd love to have you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Northern Illinois. Stay yeah. out of Southern Illinois. The People's Republic of Illinois. <laughs> so, okay, here we are. We're, what, week 16? I'm almost like, I don't want to do a podcast anymore because we talk about the same stuff every time. But... This is episode 23. Episode 23 <laughs> of stuff that we don't understand about the Kamala <laughs> that we're still trying to figure out. How how are people who have the vaccination dying from the freaking disease? I didn't think they were supposed to. They are. What? By the bucket loads, man. What? Oh, yeah. Well, that, those little people wow. diagrams they put together only ever show just one guy dying. Yeah, just one poor one little, little guy, guy down there at the bottom of a whole sea of red. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. No, I mean, but it shouldn't be. Okay. If you get vaccinated from polio and you die of polio. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's think about this. That's a How many deal. vaccines? Because let's keep in mind, I think I think our liberal will tell us that the flu shot is not a vaccine, right? Correct. So how many vaccines do we have today that still let you get what they're not supposed to let you get? The flu shot's not a vaccine. Right. No. No, it's a shot. So we have no vaccines that we take and don't work. COVID shot. Right. Oh, the COVID's not a vaccine? No. Well, you're talking oh. a whole lot. I leave a couple of weeks and I'm going to say... Say, so shut up, right Cameron! Yeah. <laughs> shut up, Cameron. <laughs> he just I know he's he's worked his way in, didn't he? Freaking I over. asked him. <laughs> That's true. He, he was asked a question. He's over Chatty Cathy now. Everybody pulling a string in his back. So, why, so, it, so we're calling this a vaccine, but it's not? Are we just... It's a shot! It's not a vaccine. It's a shot! But are we only... I mean, I'm, on Charlie, shot, I'm in shot, full shot, Charlie Dave mode tonight. Man. Are we... I, I'm good. I'm are good we only that. not calling it a vaccine now because it's not working? <sighs> I, I would that, tell you, I'd say ask the token now? liberal, but... A vaccine stops you from getting what... You don't want to get. Yes, that is the right. That so is either the end this game. one doesn't work or just it's not nod your head, right? <laughs> right. That's what a vaccine does. It stops you from getting right. So this one either doesn't yes. work or it's not a vaccine. Right. If I don't want to get a herpes, then I would take a vaccine so I don't get herpes. If I get herpes, there's other it's ways not to a not vaccine. Get what? There's other ways to not get herpes. <laughs> <laughs> With my lifestyle, children, I need all the children, protection plug I can your get. ears. <laughs> Kids, if you don't know what herpes is, ask your parents and ask them how you get it. But, uh, but if if I if okay, and then yell at them for letting you watch this show. So if I don't, so I'm gonna take this. I don't want to get chicken pox. Yes. I don't want my kids to have chicken pox. So my kids go before school starts. They get a vaccine so they get getting they don't get chicken pox. Measles, mumps, Measles, okay. all that stuff. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they show up the first day of school. They got all of it. Yeah. All right. Somebody somewhere goes, wait a minute. It's not working. <laughs> it's not a vaccine. It's a shot. It's a shot. <laughs> That's what they say. And you're right. I mean, you said this several weeks ago, and they have pretty much just kind of like, oh, and, and no, it doesn't protect you anymore. It's slowly degraded. from it's, it, it. Yes, yeah. it protects you. It lessens no, it your symptoms now. Right. It just lessens It lessens the symptoms. But here's the thing. So, uh, you know, I have people that are like, you need to get vaccinated. You need to get vaccinated. I'm thinking, okay, well, why? So it protects me. I was like, but you can still carry it. Still so even it. if I get oh. vaccinated, I can still carry it and give it to you. So yeah. what does it matter? If I'm, exactly. Matter of fact, if I'm not vaccinated and my symptoms are going to be worse, 
I'll probably know I have it, and then I will stay home and quarantine like a Seriously. good boy. You know what would make this whole thing better by the vaccine? What? I was thinking about this this week. I think that those of us that have had this illness should be able to prove it with our antibodies and negate the need for us to be vaccinated. Actually, there was a. That's song. not going to happen because that, that, that's, that's common sense. Yeah, there was an article in Science Mag. Yeah, the hillbilly read Science Mag, get you some. <laughs> nice. So there was an article in Science Mag talking about the antibodies <coughs> of a typical patient that had had COVID and had the pretty severe symptoms or whatever and recovered are four times that of the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Four mm -hmm. times. So you're telling somebody has already mm -hmm. had COVID like that that probably has four times the immunity to go get the vaccine it doesn't make any sense i can't remember if i said it on yeah. this show or somewhere else but i have a family member that has had the virus got tested for antibodies in january got tested for antibodies again in may and her count went up really while our antibodies are only supposed to be good for three or four months, hers are increasing. She's oh, it's, more... it was only 30 days the last time I heard. They said, oh, <laughs> oh your antibodies aren't good for 30 days. I'm like, what? Yeah. She <laughs> said that they said her count went up five really? months later. That's I, I, cool. I still don't get it. It still doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. I mean, I was, I'm serious. Let's just slow it down for you Biden supporters. You, <laughs> you can get out there. So you can... You can you're getting a vaccination. You can still get it. You can still die from it. And you can still transmit it. Yeah. It doesn't sound like a vaccine, does it? <laughs> what part of this does it sound like a vaccination? <laughs> well, here, you hear and there, I and, see it. <laughs> and they're still saying, oh, you still get that vaccination. You should. <laughs> and it, it's like, I don't, you people, man. Whew. I, I swear. <laughs> So I can so I've been vaccinated for chicken pox, so I can still get chicken pox. I can still transmit chicken pox, and I can still die from it. So why did you get the vaccine, silly? Well, I mean, this is like, I don't I don't get that. I don't understand them. Yeah. What's uh, What's the goal then after one hundred percent? After everybody's boosters. Been, everybody's been vaccinated, what's the goal? Boosters. Then what's the goal after that? Lockdowns and camps, probably. I don't know. I don't know where they're going with camps. it. I mean. I mean, really, the camps, and not the fun ones. <laughs> not the ones you want to go to. Not no. man camp. Yeah. Where you get to drink beer and cut trees down. Oh, Jace Robertson's going to man camp. That Are you serious? Might be pretty cool to go to. Uh, either yeah. that or they paid him a lot of money. They did pay him a lot of money. They probably paid him a lot that's of money. That's a lot of, that's a, probably not. Because he probably showed probably up. Probably not giving away goes, beer because they couldn't afford it. Yeah. He probably shows up and he's like, I do this on Wednesday night. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like. But what's 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 the go after a hundred percent? Well, we're never going to get there. Okay, but what is okay? All you fanatics out there who want it to be a hundred percent, you want everybody to be vaccinated. What's? Are you going to shut up at a hundred percent? No. Well, no, because we're still no, in the won't. same trouble. Uh, a few weeks ago, I shared an, a statistic from another country that thirty-eight percent of their hospitals were vaccinated individuals in the hospital for COVID. Right, right. Last week I shared a number from Pennsylvania, I believe, that was over 50% vaccinated was their hospital. Yes. So even if we get 100% vaccinated, right, 50% of those people can still be infected with the virus. I mean... So if we get everybody up to 100% vaccination and we still have a problem with COVID, yeah. does that give us the right to be able to take that stick out of your butt <laughs> and beat you over the freaking head with it? I think so. I would say so. I say so. I I, I can I'd almost stomp go, a mud hole in you because I, you're an idiot. I'd almost go get the vaccine. Right. If that was the, if that was the end game, I could take that stick and beat you with it. Then let's go. I I'll go. I'm get just it tomorrow. serious. If it let's gets go. to the point where everybody's vaccinated, but we're still dying from it, you deserve to be beat to a pulp. <laughs> beat to a pulp. I'm game. Let's do this. I don't know, man. Let's just do it. Let's go down that road. <laughs> let's go down that road. I'm just, yeah. I would take the vaccination let's too. See. That would mean we'll like do some math again. It, you know, if if you take the vaccination, Lee, and you get the COVID, that gives you the right to go punch liberals. Sweet. That would. I'd do it. I'd be going Heart around beat. licking people with COVID. I would. <laughs> <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> Please infect me. <laughs> um, Here's what I don't understand, though. So if they're making it mandatory, who's held responsible? If, if, if there are side effects to this vaccine, nobody. Well, I never I found it in the... Um, but there, there was something that came out to where they said... Uh, OSHA was going to make people responsible for this. Uh, they were going to, and they re they 
took it back. They said, eh, we're going to do it. Oh, never mind. Nope. That, sh- that should OSHA, be the bottom line. I'm here to tell you, I've been in con- the construction industry for 20 years. I have never seen OSHA backpedal. Oh, yeah. Like they backpedaled yeah. on that. Oh, they backpedaled. Like, I mean, it wasn't even a Did it turn argument. out this was a new video? Because when I tried to talk about this a week or so ago, somebody was saying it was old. Is it, is What's this, that? Is this video about OSHA stepping in. and, and It is. Old? It's an old video that, that since then OSHA has stepped back and said, no. No, they're not liable. But it, Oh, okay. okay. But yeah. depending on whichever side you fall on, that should be the minimum. Even if you're pro... Yeah. You know, pro or anti-freedom, I guess. <laughs> you know, you... Uh, can you be pro anti freedom? Yeah. Okay. You yeah. ought to you ought to be able to say if you're a reasonable, halfway intelligent human being. Okay, somebody needs to be held responsible in case there are side effects. If it's if it's so safe, what are they scared of? Right. If they make it mandatory and you get sick from it, your company just, is liable. For just that. like the hospitals that are mandating it. Put right. your money where your mouth's at. If you think it's so safe, put your money where your mouth's at. And it's so funny because all these people were were heroes a few months ago. Remember? Oh that? yeah, they're gonna be. Side trash now. They're going to throw yeah, out the street. They're blood sucking scum because yeah. they won't take the vaccine. And think yeah. about this, and chances are those frontline workers, those nurses that were in the middle of this, the actual spike that was early last year, yeah, probably immune now. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and they're being worked over yeah. for it now. now they're being worked that over was the thing my friend told me. He said, okay, so I go in there and I get the COVID, and a nurse comes back in. She's talking to me. I'm still doing the Charlie Day voice. He comes back in, and she said, and he was sitting there and he was talking to her, okay? Cause so, so he's he's classified COVID. So he would look up at her, and when he looked up at her, she would take the mask and put it above her nose. <laughs> and he said, and he would look down, and he'd come in, and he looked back up at her, and when he looked back up at her again, she took the mask and put it back up her nose. It's like whenever he turned away, she was like, boop. <laughs> I pop down. And it's like, well, he, he has COVID. I had a similar experience. I had a friend that did that, and he was in there, and he said that the nurse, who was in the room with him the entire time, uh, yeah. okay, comes in, and... And was like, okay, well, here's your symptoms. Well, we need to get you a COVID test. She's just wearing a mask at this point. She walks out and comes in in a full hazmat suit. <laughs> like head to toe, full hazmat suit to do the COVID test. Because now it's official. Now once the COVID test is done, I guess the nurse put it in a little thing and put it to the side. And then to, proceeds to take all of that off in the room with the, the COVID patient. Well, they weren't even mask back confirmed on. at that point, right? They weren't even tested. confirmed at that point. Yeah. So <laughs> it's protocol. Yeah. It's all about the protocol. It's not about actual safety. It's not about actual people's lives. It's about protocol hmm. and control. It is about control. You know, when they're, they're firing nurses, it's there's not a pand- pandemic. You don't fire nurses yeah. in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when they, I'm sure they couldn't replace them. I know. If the hospitals no, are overrun. Uh, they're short now. They're short like, staff now. Our hospitals are overrun. By the way, we're going to fire the doctors and nurses. Oh, and by the way, the amount of beds, when they say we have full beds it's not all the beds in the hospital they have to have so many beds per right. nurse so it's not like they can just have a hundred beds and two nurses if they have two nurses they have to whatever many beds per nurse it is that's what mm-hmm. it is so if they have a full a, a room or whatever if their floor's full well there might only be three nurses working on that floor i probably can't get so, it to work here in the bunker but i'm pretty sure that our non- COVID patients still outweigh the COVID patients in our local hospital. Really? And that's surprising because everyone I know now has it, so. I mean, I probably can't get this <laughs> I think it was very disturbing to have doctors, some of them come out and say, if you haven't been vaccinated, we're not going to treat you. So here's, on that note, the people saying, oh, well, if you've not been vaccinated, I don't feel <laughs> sorry for you, and you shouldn't go to the hospital, and you shouldn't get medical treatment. Okay. The person probably saying that, that I was having conversation with, uh, is overweight. Right. So if you have a heart attack, don't go to the hospital. Yeah. No. No, you're overweight. <laughs> your, you can control fault. that. It is yeah, 100% fault. your fault. So if you have a stroke or a heart attack, don't go to the hospital. Just Absolutely. die. Yeah. Because that's what you're telling people that don't want to get the vaccine, that if you get COVID, just just die. Don't go to the hospital. Right. Don't take up our beds. Well, if you're fat and overweight and you have a stroke or a heart attack, don't go to the hospital. Don't take our beds. Right. Because if the healthy people get sick, He's we need roll. to be able to go. Ooh, sorry. Well, I agree with you 100%, man. Well, don't be sorry about it because it's, it's the truth. If you go in there and you smoke 40 packs a day <laughs> and it's like, I got a heart. Uh, uh, and, 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 you know, what's We're still that? on the winning team. We're still winning? Sweet. Yeah. Cool. Um, 
So if you go in there and you smoke 40 packs a day and all of a sudden you get lung cancer, the doctor should just say, you know what? Sorry, we're not helping. Yeah, you, you made that choice. You made that choice. You made that choice. We're not going. We're not going to treat you. Right. Just go die. Yeah. Yeah. So every time somebody says, well, "If you don't get the vaccine, you get sick. Oh, you you shouldn't go to the hospital." I'll, I'll hit them. And that's I want to hit them. Yeah. Because it's like you are more. Especially when you see them online, you see these like job of the hut looking people going, <laughs> "You're such a drain on the medical system." <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, like you know, if you didn't keep McDonald's in business, you big fat tub of lard. <laughs> Almost <laughs> twice as many ICU beds being used by non-COVID patients than COVID patients. Same statistic for ventilators in use in our local hospitals. Yeah. Twice as many being used by non-COVID patients. Twice, but it's all it's all our fault. Mm-hmm. It's all our, all all the world's problems. We're just like the Jews. All the world's problems are because of unvaccinated people. But I, I go back to my point a little while ago. Nobody in here says, okay, when we get to 100%, they'll shut up. Because you know they won't. No, no originally that percentage was like 75 or something. It was 70%. You guys remember that a few months ago? How it was yeah. we, 70, wasn't it? 90 now. Oh, wow. We wanted to get to 70%. To and, and all of a sudden, it's just like, now it's got to be 90. And pretty soon, it's going to be 100%. Uh-huh. And then what, what happens after that? What happens after 100%? What are they, what are they going to do to try to get that 100%? Well, question. What, Robert Malone, the guy who came out and, and, and did this vaccination, did the R, uh, RNDA or whatever it is, vaccination, and he's like telling people not to, don't you, don't do it. Don't take really? it. Yeah. I mean, when the dude who created it says, don't take it, <laughs> because it alters not just, it alters a bunch of crap within you, man. Yeah. And it's just, that's who I'm going to trust. Not some brilliant biochemist that somebody throws up there. By the way, a biochemist is not a virologist. No. We wanted to talk about that, but we were away that week. Because, yeah. Because we were very close to that parent slash doctor that was tearing that school board apart. Yes. And yeah. then the next day, a biochemist comes out and says, no, he's wrong. He's a wrong. biochemist. <laughs> right. Tells the virologist that he's wrong. Yes. Yeah. So I know more about his field than he does, even though I've never studied it. <laughs> right. It's Folks, hikers and hunters are not the same people. All right? <laughs> They both go in the woods, they both walk around, they both see animals, but they're not the same people. So when somebody comes up and you have a biochemist who's going to refute a virologist, no, no, nice try. That's what they, but he's a brilliant biochemist. Oh, I'm sure he is. You know, he, as opposed to a stupid biochemist. He makes these things, he doesn't study them. Hmm. Yeah. Biochemist. Yeah. He should know he's the one that made it. No. <laughs> so, yeah, these, these people, I, I don't know. Uh I just thought it was really sad for the doctors to say, we're not going to treat you if you, if you have been vaccinated because that's why I'm not a governor because I'd be like, y'all, you guys are fired. <laughs> Go find a new job. Yeah, you're all fired, every one of you. You're going to come to, and your business is going to be boarded up because you can't say that stupid crap. Yeah. You that's... just can't do that. But I, I don't know. Glenn Beck, I, man, I got, re- I got respect for I'll Glenn Beck. tell you Beck. what, he's... He's had his moments in the past couple years. He puts of years, his money where his mouth is, but though. He, yeah, he got it done. And he's like, we're going we're gonna to spend $20 million and we're going to go over to Af- Afghanistan and only get Christians. And I'm like, suck it. <laughs> That's right, buddy. <laughs> he's like, hey, you lost person? Hey, made fun of God? We well, you sit here on the airport and hang up this little rag head right here for a little while <laughs> and see what happens to you. We're leaving. You see better, ya. Kiss our crack, buddy. Better hope Sleepy Joe comes and gets you. I know you. it. Good luck, man. We're taking the Christians with us. See ya. Wow. I didn't know that. I didn't hear this. Yeah. yeah. He, he spent $20 million, of, uh, not only his money, but money from other people and went yeah. over there and just got Christians. I love it, man. <laughs> you accepted Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior? No, man. I don't have anything to do with God, but good. You can go down there. <laughs> Next. Hey. Hey. Taliban. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah, this guy's ready. This guy said your mother's a camel. Come on. <laughs> and, you know, and, you know, all the Christians, he took them home. I'm like, I don't care. It doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. Hey. Do it. Doing God's work. Doing yeah, God's yeah. work, man. <laughs> Everybody, you know, and, and Rick Warren came out and said, if you love your neighbor, wear a mask. And, oh, did he? Yeah. I would have left his fat butt on the tarmac, too. <laughs> He's been on a decline here the last couple months. I think he left the church, didn't he? Rick Warren left the church? I think he left Saddleback. Yeah. Good, because he's an idiot. All these guys, all these people, and we talked about this ad nauseum, but it's like all these people that you bought all their books and went to all their conferences, and then when the rubber hits the road, they just all, you know, they just all gave up, quit. Yeah. 
I'm just, I'm so, I'm, I'm in a bad place when it comes to church. I, I, I am, man. I'm in a, I'm, not, I'm in a great place when it comes to Christianity. I'm a bad place when it comes to church. Yeah. Because I'm just, you know, not our church. Our church is cool. But it was just like, I guess church in general where you just kind of, you grew up your entire life. Like, it was all one big lie. It was. It was just, <clears throat> yeah. it was just a, all this stuff that we were doing, you know, having to come up and. And wake up every day and go in and wear my little button-down shirt and my slacks and put in 60 I, hours a week for no money and all. That was, had nothing to do with Christianity. I, I had a real good conversation with a co-worker today about that who is, I'd say, lost. and But used to go to church. And we had a real good conversation about that. Like, it's not what I thought it was. You know, growing up. And what I believe now, I mean, I'm not even in the same ballpark anymore. Not even in the same it's ballpark. It's not even close. I and mean. that's sad coming from a minister. But it was just like all these years that I spent in ministry, and it was just nothing but just a flat-out lie. Rules and regulations that had it was. nothing to do with the Bible. And even the things that we were doing at the church, it was just had nothing, none of it whatsoever to do with the Bible. I had a, a great fight with somebody about, you know, the, well, the purpose of the church is to do soup kitchens and all that stuff. I'm like, no, it's not. Where, where is that at? It's not in the Bible at all. <laughs> Jesus said the poor will always be among you. He, he didn't. Jesus, if he wanted to eradicate poverty. He would have. Could have done yeah. it like that. It's done. Nobody's hungry anymore. But he didn't. Yeah. He didn't do that. And I just go back and I read scripture where it talks about how, you know, we're supposed to you know, take care of widows within the church, but then he gives this long description on what these widows have to do. And then we just tell people now, it's just like willy nilly, just somebody show up off the street and need something. You're just supposed, you're supposed to give it to them. No, it's not. Yeah. We, they took what, what we were supposed to be doing within the church and applied it to, that applies to, to everybody. Yeah. Instead yeah. of, instead of our, like, our the own. widows or, or whatever, it's like, yeah. Oh, anybody that walks in the door. That no, you don't need to walk in the door. That's what the soup kitchens are for. You take yeah, it that's out. That's true. There. You don't even have to. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I just think it's just so funny how we just have kind of been doing this stuff forever and it's just all been fake and it's all been a lie and all this stuff. It's not it's not a religion, it's a relationship. Well, the Bible says a pure and undefiled religion is this. Take care of widows and orphans and to keep oneself unpolluted by the world. So the Bible defines it as a religion. You know, so there's nothing... So we just we throw out these cliches and this stuff like that and all these things that we're doing and we're not, we're not helping believers. And so when Beck... Uh, says i'm gonna go over there i'm gonna help christians i'm like cool yeah we should be helping our brothers and sisters absolutely and we should be helping them first yeah and i know that sounds horrible but because you're biblically illiterate i can't help that (laughs) (laughs) but it's just that we have a responsibility to take care of our brothers and sisters in christ the bible always teaches that yes now our first responsibility is to take care of those in our church family and then whatever is left over, then go out and, and help somebody if you want to help them. That's, that's fine. You can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. But if I have a choice between helping a brother or helping somebody I don't know, I'm going to help my brother first. Mm-hmm. That's my responsibility. And so I just I admire Beck for doing it. And I admire Beck for having the guts to say, we're going to go get Christians. Yeah. Now, he's Mormon, so he's not a Christian. <laughs> he's a cult member. <laughs> but he, you know, he said, we're going to go out and, you know, I don't know if he just went out and helped Mormons, which, uh, gosh, I hope we didn't save their lives. Um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, why well, do you think Joseph Smith would have come down from a big pillar from the clouds or something and yeah, just picked them, them up and, and took them away? But, you know, I just I admire the guts of him doing that. But yeah. I'm just, I think when we come down and we're talking about all this, the Kamala stuff, it's the new global warming. Just get ready for it. It's going to be here forever. Yeah, I yeah, that. yeah. When even the a hundred percent, yep, won't won't fix the problem, right? If the vaccine doesn't work or the shot, if we don't get to call it a vaccine anymore, it doesn't matter if a hundred percent of us have it. If half of that number can still be in the hospital, so it a hundred percent doesn't end it. No, it's gonna it's gonna be here forever, because it, it's the similarities between the Kamala and and global warming are just it, it. You sit down, it's shocking. I mean, really, you can't question the science. True, because if you do, you get banned. But but the question is, okay, what if you have? You gotta trust a, the science, not question it. What if you have a science a scientist who comes out? Yeah, not not that. He's science. an immunologist, <laughs> or he's a virologist, or he's an expert. He has a PhD from Cambridge. He 
He's been working in the field for 28 years. He's written 38 books on the subject, peer-reviewed, all this stuff. And he says, you're crazy for taking this. And we're, and we're like, believe the science, except for that guy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> believe our science. Yeah. yeah. Believe our science. Yeah. That's what it is. And But then we go down the list of all the things that science used to believe that we found out was not true. But part of, mm. part of science is science is always being reevaluated and always being studied and being changed if it needs to be changed. Mm -hmm. There's no definitive, it's not absolute truth. People want to say science that's is why, absolute truth. That's it's why not. it's science. It's not absolute truth. Right. It's you take it, <laughs> you put it into a laboratory, you continue to work on it, and then you try to get to the absolute truth. But but these people are just like, once they start saying, don't question the science, then I know I need to start questioning You the need science. to question it, absolutely. You need to question it. Because global warming, they found every... Oh, gosh. That's... Antarctic, they just they just came out, the Japanese just came out and said the ice cap's actually growing in the Antarctic. <laughs> has been for the past three years. Yeah, they tried to show this with a picture of something, some little cliff side, and it was like 20 years apart. And the cliff was in the exact same shape. The water was at the exact same level. And they're like, no, no, no. The camera was a different angle. And it's yes. Like <laughs> yeah. It's not global warming. It's global cooling. That's what it, we're, it's the next ice age now. These fact checkers. I don't. Do you think there's anybody now who who really looks at it and goes, "No." Oh wait a minute. There's a fact check on I'll, this. I'm. I really. I, I, I'll Marge, be, get in here. And check this out. This is not right. I'll be honest. Every time I see a fact check, I click. Even if I'm just scrolling through, I see fact check. I'm like, Ooh, what is that? And yeah. I click on it because I'm like, now I'm interested. Now yeah. it's like, oh, they don't want me to see it. I want yeah. to see it. Right now it's uh, like, anymore, it, it, I agree. Anymore they don't disprove what they're saying. They're not saying that it's incorrect. Partly false. It'll partly, say it's yeah. partly false or this is taken out of context yeah. or this was dealt with in a different in a different post before. Yeah. And it's just like, wait a minute. Yeah, I was like, what are you trying to do here? Oh, yeah. I mean, like you said, they're coming out and they're saying he did not look at his watch. And they're like, yes, he did. <laughs> we have pictures. Uh, yes. The families who were there said he looked at his watch more than once. Yes. How How horrible can of a human being can you possibly I, You're either horrible or you're stupid. You pick. He has no clue where he's at. Let's be honest. He probably didn't even know where he was at at that point. Well, when he, he has to start like, all of his new speeches with, they tell me. They tell me to do this. Yeah. They yeah. told me to ask you for questions. It's just like, who's they? <laughs> Who are these they you keep talking about? And the real Kamala sitting in the background going, no, no, stop, don't say that. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. There's some guy behind a big curtain, you know, with all these, the, you know, steampunk stuff going yeah. everywhere and all, poof, you know, manipulating Joan. <laughs> they. 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 Who's they? Yeah. I'm, I'm supposed to take questions now. Let's see. Bob, <laughs> you have a question. What's your name? Bob? Are you not Bob? Bob? And, and you know the whole time Who's they're sitting back there going, "Man, he wasn't supposed to say that." Oh, I know. Just, yeah. just shut up. Just like, shut, up. Just shut up, dude. You're making it worse. Yeah, uh, but I did. Like I said, I thought it was hilarious today because he was just kind of like, "This was flawless," but it's Trump's fault. <laughs> <laughs> so is he secretly giving Trump the credit? Yeah, if it I, was I don't flawless. know. It was it? I don't know. Everybody, everybody's confused. And <laughs> but you know, somebody, you know, my mother was like, "Well, what can we do?" And it's like fifty-two percent of people want him out. So yeah. I don't, I don't know what you do. If fifty-two percent, oh, wow, fifty-two percent of the people want him out. Fifty-two percent of the people want him out. The other forty percent are the ones that have, they have those little warnings, like we said in the shoe boxes. Don't eat this. <laughs> they're they're buying supporters, but it's just like. I don't. What can what can you do now? Nothing. Trump got impeached for a phone call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for a phone call, and Pelosi. Oh my gosh, I would never advocate violence against a woman. But if I could put Careful. my foot so far up her rear end, <laughs> I don't want to edit this. I know. I know. I know. Keep it PG. You talking about that stick up? If the I butt. have to edit, it doesn't come out on Friday. I can tell you that. <laughs> oh my gosh, she has the most. There are people who have punchable faces. Yeah. 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 And she has, not that we're advocating violence against no, her. No, we're not advocating violence. We're just saying she has a punchable face. Inciting violence is how they. Right. They we're not inciting it. violence no. against her. Don't do right. it. Right. Right. Don't do it. But even though all the, the people who run YouTube have punchable faces too. So. <laughs> oh, crap. There goes our channel. <laughs> well, who, who cares at this point? It's, it's, when the, when the president has been banned from Twitter, but the Talbian still has an account. That's, you know that it's not on the up and up anymore. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Yeah, they're, they're sad.
They get us every time now too. I can't even I can't even post this video to our Facebook page without it saying this page talks about vaccines. Wow, they're good. <laughs> That's they're right. Good. We're on the list. We're on the list. We need a new word. <laughs> we won't use it. No, we can never remember it. We never can remember it. It was some word that we could use. Uh, any suggestions that you guys have uh, for a word that we could use? The pineapple. The pineapple. No, the, that's our trade. The Pelosi. The Pelosi. The Pelosi. No, we don't want, I don't want to say her name that many times. Um, the Charlie Day. <laughs> no, poor Charlie Day. Oh, I know. I wouldn't do that to no. her. But it is. It's a new global warming. Which, it's the shot now, anyways. It's not the vaccine. That's true. But we probably get in trouble for shot too. So, can you still talk about global warming without being censored? Oh yeah, because they're past that now. Oh, okay. I haven't heard anything about that in like six months. We don't care about that. I haven't anymore. heard about Greta in a while. Yeah, yeah. I see her every time I open my gas cap. She they probably got of, sick. They kind of moved on to the to the new stuff now. I have a I yeah. Have where a, is Greta? I, I miss Greta. I we can go out there on the old power stroke and I open up the fuel door and it's a picture of her saying, "How dare you? How dare every you? Time I feel, uh, every time I fill the diesel up." She's getting. She goes after me. It's. It reminds me of how 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 conscious I need to be of the environment while I'm fueling my diesel up. I saw gas was back up this week. Another thirty cents. Diesel hasn't moved yet. It At hasn't went down or up. It. No, okay. not where I've been getting it. So, you guys, can I question my fingers anything? Because you live by the grace of the government. Have you not figured that out yet? That's true. We will do whatever the government tells us. Well, that's. I, I'm. I, I'm serious. That's what they think. Yeah. You live by the grace of the government. You're able to go. Don't complain about the prices in the supermarket because it's by the grace of the government that you're allowed to go into the supermarket and get food. It is by the grace of the government that you are allowed to get gasoline. Don't complain about the prices. Mm. Yeah, JR, don't complain about the prices. Or they'll take our gasoline they, away from us. You guys don't understand. That's what they think. You live by their pleasure. That's what... That's not the way it was founded. What? When? When is that going to end? We talked about that a little bit last week. We talked about how people were trying to use Romans 13 at the beginning of this whole thing. About how mm. we're supposed to, even though it doesn't say obey, but or how we're supposed to obey our government. Right? Right. Now, does that apply when... The Taliban? Something like the t Taliban <laughs> comes in, has a coup, and sets up a new government. Are you supposed to... Obey them too. <laughs> I love it when Biden says it too. It's because it's the Taliban. The Taliban. <laughs> the Taliban man. <laughs> Who can make the sun rise? <laughs> you know, and then when he does that, it's just like the Taliban. And it's, <laughs> no, it's not. It sounds so gay. Don't say it that way. I'm sorry. What were you saying? You're making a great point. Here. No, he says when a new <laughs> when a new militia comes in like that, has a coup, sets up a new government structure. Will they still claim Romans thirteen that we need to oh, well, yeah, well, abide or obey by yeah, that? We're supposed to government. obey the government. Where right? were all the evangelical leaders writing their little Twitter posts saying, "Now listen, you people over in Afghanistan, yeah, you need to submit to your governing authorities. That's right. Yeah, you need to do that's Romans thirteen. You need to do it that way. I don't care if they're beheading you. <laughs> you that's what you need to be doing. They're raping the women and children. They're raping doesn't the women. Matter. That's all right. It doesn't matter. You pledge your allegiance to the government. That's what you're supposed to do as a good Christian. Yeah. <laughs> And Beck said, screw you, I'm going to come get him. Yeah. Make him. Yeah. But these guys, they've been silent because they're gutless turds. Right? Mm. Oh, gosh. I feel I feel much better now. Do you? You yeah. got it all out, didn't you? I did. I mean, I've been, I've been kind of storing this up for the past couple of weeks. But it's, you know, it's going to be around. You might as well just get it ready for oh, it. Yeah. I don't know if we're just tied to the point where we're not even going to complain about it anymore. I mean, there's not a whole lot to complain about. That we haven't already. I mean, you can get on here I and do, mean, you know, 35 episodes on global warming, but it's just, it's not going to go anywhere. Nobody's going to watch that. Well, nobody's <laughs> starting not to watch <laughs> this. Nobody's watching this. So. Yeah. But I think they're to, it's to the point now. Oh, by the way, thank you for doing a rap video last week. Oh. When yeah. I wasn't here. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm not a rap fan. We didn't really do the video. We just the lyrics. We just, but, yeah, just did yeah. the lyrics. Huh? We just did the lyrics. We didn't actually do the whole video. Because oh, the videos okay. get pulled I, down demonetized, but if we do it the way we did it, we don't get demonetized. That's right. Even We're, though we don't I rapped. <coughs> Who gets demonetized? 
we would if we used copyright music. But we don't get paid. So, are so we get money now. Wait, no, wait. We're getting Listen closer. To... We're getting closer to monetization. Come on, people! Come so on. we don't need hit that of... like and subscribe button. Tell your friends. We don't need all of our past videos demonetized when that happens. That's true. Which is probably ninety percent of them. Which is are. a perfect segue. Which means if this button in this corner is still red, that means you have not clicked it. Click that so button. Click that button. Make it gray. Subscribe. We are over one hundred, which means we do get our custom channel name. Which I'm not set up well, it does yet. look good now. When you look it up, it does. It keeps going up to the Gospel Coalition. Mm -hmm. It still says Coalition. Yeah. It still says Coalition. Yeah. I don't know why those guys are worthless turds of human beings. <laughs> Whoa! They are. Get you some. They are. Coalition, anytime you guys, let's do it for charity, UFC match, Brolition against the Coalition. Oh, yeah. Any okay. day. I'm One arm seeing. behind my back. If I win, <laughs> I'll give to a charity of your choice. I just want to beat you up. That's all I want to do. <laughs> I've not seen these guys, so... Yeah, oh, I don't know they're, what they're they look like, malicious. but I'm, I'm they're game. They're a bunch let's of guys, when Trump was in office, was sitting around shooting their mouths off all the time about how, oh, it's just so, we're so morally... Uh, you know, conflicted at this point, we need to say something. And then all this crap takes place with Biden and all this stuff with abortion and all this stuff with the vaccine and all this other stuff's taking place and they're silent because they're gutless turds. And anytime you want to fight me, you <laughs> let me know, buddy, and I'll be there with bells on. And I'll you be right can bring everybody you want to either because you're a bunch of sissies. Yeah. So now we get to say... You gutless, <laughs> suckomanic... Gospel Coalition. You guys, I'm serious, man. There's like Bruce Springsteen at the top, and you guys are second, and a black hole is third. You suck more than a black hole that sucks all life from the universe into it. You suck that much. Oh, by the way, when I said, that, you know, I don't like Bruce Springsteen, and we had some guy, in like some Nigerian, Nigerian prince on TikTok was like, well, that's just so nice. You sit in there and you call yourself Christians and you hate people. Dude, it's like me saying I hate the Rolling Stones. It's not like I hate Mick Jagger. I just hate the band. <laughs> and so when I say I hate Bruce Springsteen, I just I hate the band. You know? So shut up. And you continue to try to pawn money, you know, give money to people. And, and I'm sure you got a prince somewhere. An uncle. <laughs> Has a bunch of money. Whatever your stupid name was. You know? Speak American or at least have an English name. <laughs> Don't get on there. If you're going to insult me, don't be like, <laughs> You probably just insulted somebody somewhere. If that's your name, I'm sorry. <laughs> Google can translate that. Yeah, I know. Oh, I can't stand I can't stand coalition. Gosh, I can't stand those guys. I, I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we get to use their name in the description of the tags. And oh, throw yeah. Abortion, vaccine, and coalition. Yeah, it. I'm serious. Listen, no animosity whatsoever. I'm not mad whatsoever. It sounds like I am, but I'm just having some fun with you. But I'm serious. If you guys want to get a UFC cage and go at it, let me know. There you go. Let me know. Seriously. I'll get on my knees. You can blindfold me. <laughs> <laughs> I still... I, would love it. I need to see them now. <laughs> oh, I would love it. Oh my you gotta look you up just to make sure. JR's like, I'm not gonna say anything until I see what they look like. These might be some big <laughs> They're boys. like 300 pound dudes. Like, nah, no, oh, really uh, no. I was looking at Tim Keller and people like that. It's like you guys don't scare me. <laughs> well, all they show off is their logo. Yeah, and they're very proud of it. It's just I literally didn't letters. See them at all? <laughs> what is this guy here? These guys? Oh my gosh! Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I'm down. I'll tell you what. I'll Put bring. I'll there. bring my wife. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually that's scary and I'll let her fight for you guys just to make it fair <laughs> yeah yeah oh yeah those oh, dudes are real scary yeah that's looking. not a problem I think <laughs> we got I'm pretty sure we got that man. yeah I'm that's your cool. huckleberry <laughs> I'll be you your guys, huckleberry yeah but th these guys have been just destroying Christianity and they've been doing it from, from the inside and they're not godly they're not Christian and they pose as Christians, and they're heretics, and they're liars. And I don't like those people, and God doesn't like those people either. And and so he has fully uh, sanctioned the uh, UFC match. Sweet. <laughs> so, Sweet. I'm serious, man. I would. I, if I win, I'll give to the charity of your choice. If I you mean, win? I just want to beat you up. Yeah. Okay. That's what I want to do. So you get to have money at charity of your choice either way is what it sounds it's like. It's a win-win so, for you, man. There you go. No, not really because I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> I'm going to beat the tar out of you. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's just sad. We're so loving. <laughs> <coughs> I, I, 
Allergies. 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 Twenty three nineteen. No. no Kamala. I know it. Oh my gosh, I've got a sock on me. <laughs> Comment down below for that. He's yeah. still dropping hints. Yeah. 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 One of the, one of the best movies, by the way. It's a great movie. One, 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 I would say up there, man. So I like it. Yeah. All right, let me stop. Yep. So Jr. doesn't have to edit anything because once we go back and watch it, it's going to be a lot worse than it just sounded. <laughs> I don't want to beat you guys up. I just uh, I think you're just despicable he human just beings about it. and you're heretics. <laughs> so that's not much better, but I mean, right. sure. So now, but if you get angry enough and you want to fight me, let me know. There you go. <laughs> but I'm not going to fight you. But if you want to fight me, yeah. let me know. I'll be yeah. I'll be totally fine with that. Um, you know, those guys they are bad, but <laughs> I don't. <laughs> They were some of the motivation for this show, from what I understand. They were, because I, I purposefully wanted to do a show where it would make fun of them. Well, you have now succeeded. Yeah, absolutely. 23, <laughs> 23 episodes, episodes later. Full circle. Yeah. You have now... And then you saved did, it for 24. I know, yeah. but you just don't understand. You're you're one step below Bruce Springsteen and how much you <laughs> suck. That's pretty bad. That is bad. That, that is bad. Mm. I don't know. So we've got the top three, Bruce Springsteen, Gospel Coalition, and a Black Hole. Black Hole. So I don't know what four is. Oh gosh, I I don't know. What, what could suck Tune that in much? Next week. Huh? Tune in next Tune week. In next week. <laughs> Tune in next week. We're on the top ten list of all the things, things that, that suck. suck. Yeah. Oh, that would be easy. There's yeah. lots of things that suck. Well, we can't but, think of a number four. But trying to rate mean? them. I mean, there's lots of things that suck. I mean, COVID has to be up there. Sleepy yeah. Joe. <laughs> I mean, he's got to be in the top ten. Yeah, that does say something, though, how much I dislike Biden, and he's not even up there. Yeah, if he's not even in your top ten, that's, there's a lot. He, oh, he's in my top ten. Okay, no doubt. okay. Just not the top three. Just not, top, not three. top three. Which tells you how much I really hate Springsteen. <laughs> 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 which I, I didn't see. realize that until that outburst the other day. I was like, I do I hate this guy. Like, I guys. really don't But it's like the this. band. <laughs> it's the band. It's not him, Najee. Najee. So the, I've seen another TikTok edit coming. Now, who's that guy that we, uh, Haji? Who's always Haji. on the... Haji! Yeah, Haji. Haji. The poor guy on the desert island by himself. Who does not know Jesus and has no access to a Bible. Does he go to heaven or hell? Poor little Naji. Oh, <laughs> they're studying that one for a while. All right. And on that bombshell, we're going to get off of here before I really get in trouble. 57 minutes. We're good. 57 minutes. There you go. Hey, thanks for checking us out. We yeah. hope you enjoyed the fun. A lot of stuff that we do here is for fun. We're having a good time. If you get offended by it, good. That's what we're trying yeah. to do. See you later. Bye. And all, yeah, all you're doing is just you're feeding the bears here when you're doing that. Uh, but uh, I don't have any problem calling out people who need to be called out. And the Gospel Coalition needs to be called out. And they're bad people. Uh, all right. Anything else? Like, subscribe. Who's your hillbilly? Dauntless Game is J.R. Robinson. I missed that. Super Christian. Mm. Shut up, Cameron, who all of a sudden has found his voice. I know, it's weird. Um, <laughs> he's going to lose that next week. <laughs> <laughs> but we're glad to be back, and we'll be starting season two here pretty soon. Going to make a little bit of changes and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah new set. Yeah, so uh -huh. next week will be our last uh, episode of the season. <laughs> season one. Yep, 24, yeah. just like a normal so we'll like television a, show. 24. Just like 24 with Jack Bauer. Yep. There you go. One and of the best shows on television. It was. Never seen Jack Bauer. It. it got bad, but it was started good. 24 was fantastic. Never saw it. It was a great show. I'd rewatch that. I we need to do a top it. 10. Uh, I was sitting here the other night trying to think of like my top 10 movies of all time. Oh, movies? It would be hard but I could do it. You we can do that for 24. Yeah. yeah. Let's do something just non news non Kamala. No Kamala. We're not going to mention COVID or vaccine no. next week? No. No. I think our last it. one, we just need to. So, I won't mention so. Suckage. I won't mention Bruce Springsteen, oh, Gospel need, Coalition. Yeah. So there will be no news section next week then. No news yeah. section. <laughs> Talk. So, so get all your news from CNN, the most trusted news network. <laughs> top, <laughs> top 10 movies or top 20? You better do 10. We took a long time last time. Just do 10? Yeah. We, we, it was like an hour and 45 minutes when we tried to do top 10 last time. It don't matter because he won't do his list of 30 minutes before he comes in here anyway. 100% fact. True story. And you're doing <laughs> movie, movie, movie. Yeah. This is going to be different because you and I are going to disagree and Mike doesn't watch movies. so He does watch movies. Some, yes. It'll, uh, his list will be Fast and Furious and then one, one other movie. Nine. Fast yeah. and Furious <laughs> 1, yeah. Fast and Furious 2, Fast and Furious 3, Fast and right. Furious 4, I'll always seven. 7 and then I'll stop. Exactly. And that'll be it. And then it'll be The Matrix. Matrix oh. 1, 2, and 3. See, no. there you go. Done. We, we no, got to agree 10. that trilogies count as one. No. no. 
No. no. Yeah, they almost have to because you don't know. No, because the Matrix Cause, 1 is no way like Matrix Revolutions. Then I can only pick like three movies because the, their, their sequels go in. Oh, there. well, I, I, know, I already know what's on his list. Well, that don't ruin easy. it. Don't ruin I'm not, it. I'm not. I like Christopher Nolan. We're just going to say that. Yeah. I, oh, my gosh. All uh-huh. the Batman movies. No, just one. Oh, by the way, I told him the other day he laughed at me. Uh, Spider-Man 2 is the best Spider-Man. Which one was that? That's the one with Doc Ock. It was still Tobey Maguire, so it's false. <sighs> oh, Tobey Maguire was good. What he I'm was about actually, to say, what I'm the about third to one was say, horrible. It was one of those horrible movies of all time. I think this is the only thing me and JR have ever What I'm about on. to say is going to split our viewer base right down the middle. Yeah. Andrew Garfield is the best Spider-Man. No. Agreed. Did, no. You will not see us agree on much, but we agree on Andrew Garfield is the greatest Tobey Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire was the best one. No. The best Spider Man or the best Peter Parker? He was he mm. he was a good Peter Parker. He was not Garfield a good Spider Man. Garfield was both. Garfield, no, yes. no, yes, best, terrible, nope. And the new kid is the worst. Yeah, not a big fan. I would take McGuire over. Him. Tommy McGuire had the best villains. He Green Goblin did have the best Doc villains. Ox. He had the best villains. He had the best villains. There's no doubt. Apparently, all. Goblin and everybody's back for this next movie. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah, see how that works. That's gonna be awesome. I'm man, not sure how that's gonna go, but Alfred Molina, who played Doc Ock, was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I see they've younged him up a little bit in the movie. Yeah, they did. <laughs> he looks yeah. like he's twenty. But yeah. it was I don't know, I just I, I watched it the other day and I thought this is a really good the it was bad going back and forth with Mary Jane and all that stuff. I don't think Kirsten Dunst is good looking at all. No, I really know. And it but it was just she's a terrible actress too. So it was just going back and forth with that and, and stuff, but he was, um, the Aunt May was the best Aunt May in the first one. Yeah. We're not going to say, we're not going to talk about three though. Emo Spider-Man. <laughs> it was we're bad. Gonna, we're going to leave that one. It had Venom, which was awesome, but. He had Mary, uh, the new Mary Jane's horrible. Yeah. Oh gosh. Horrible. It's not even close. I had a crush on her in a comic book. Yeah. And it's like. She's horrible. What here. is this? Technically, she's, At least Kirsten Dunst was a redhead. She's not Mary Jane. Right? She just She's, happens to have the initials MJ at the yeah, moment. Yeah, I don't think they actually call her Mary Jane. I think yeah. it's just MJ, yeah. Yeah. But the Green Goblin in the first one, the best Spider-Man villain, no doubt. I agree. So you're sitting uh, there, you're going, Garfield's the best one. Garfield is the best Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Not but the best set of can. movies. Okay. That does not make him the best movie. All right, no. ready? You've got five seconds. Name the villains in this movie. Go. One, two, three. Three, the shot guy. Four. In Garfield? Five. The right. shot guy. The shot guy. And Jamie Sandman. Fox. That's the only one you can think of. And the Sandman. Wasn't no, the Sandman? No, the Sandman was Frank McGuire. Wow. That was McGuire. I don't know. You uh, can't name any villain. No, but we named this best Spider-Man. So what was he doing? It was a Garfield love story. It was a freaking of... teenage love story. Which was actually in the comics. That was it true. Was. So see, it there you was, go. It was but still one comic. until you had action going along with it. That's true. And three, you got to see Spider-Man emo dance. <laughs> still. If you get on in line, you can like emo McGuire fights Thor, and they do these. That uh, that's hilarious. They're hilarious, yeah, man. That's hilarious. But that was horrible. I give you that. That was a terrible movie. And the dude that um, his best friend, whatever his name was, um, Goblin, Green Goblin. Yeah, uh, Green Harry, Goblin's son, Harry. Harry. Yeah, I hate him too. But you know, yeah, I didn't think he's all right, but. I'm, I, hey, I'm he was a, good evil. When he was evil, he was really good. I'm just excited for the new Venom. New Venom's going to be With awesome. The carnage. The current Venom was amazing. It was. This it was, one's going to be completely even. Completely overshadows all of Tobey Woody, Maguire's Woody, movies. Woody Harrelson is going to be a phenomenal carnage. Carnage. Yes. He is. He's going to be be great. But I, I didn't know that that he actually is is not carnage when he goes in there, but he bites him. Yeah. Hmm. And that's how he becomes carnage. Yeah. It looks, it looks like it's going to be awesome. So yeah. Woody Harrelson, he, he's pretty good in everything he does. Zombie Land. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen the second one, but I know the first one was great. So I had to admit, I, I watched the edited version uh, the other day. Did not watch. I can't even imagine how the other one. But <laughs> if I had a, a list of 20 top movies, Horrible Bosses would be in the top 20. <laughs> oh, yeah. Once again... Charlie Day. Charlie Day. He made Just that for Charlie movie. Day. He made that movie. Gosh, he made that movie. He made that movie. He is so, and he's great in Pacific Rim too. Pacific Rim was a good movie. I was a big fan of Pacific Rim. Not top ten. 
Mm. Not top ten, no, but it was a good movie. Not that's going to be it's going to be horrible because there's going to be a lot of good movies going to be left on the floor. If we're well, just, I have honorable mentions. If we're just doing ten, ten and an honorable mention. I mean, left, ten and left. ten honorable mentions. <laughs> <laughs> so top twenty. <laughs> I don't know how long would it take us to do top twenty. If we ran through them, we could do it. Let's do top twenty. If okay. it's an hour and a half, who cares? Yeah, it's, it's the, the last, last episode, episode of the season. Nobody Deal listens with past it, ten minutes yeah. anyway, so it don't matter. Well, we told them we were going eight minutes ago. <coughs> That's true. I'm sorry, I'm coughing. Huh? <laughs> we told them it was over eight. <laughs> we told them eight ago. minutes ago, and here we are still. So. I got on the Spider-Man. best Spider Man. Yeah. Tobey Maguire, best Spider Man. No doubt. Leave your comments at the bottom. You can be wrong if you want to be, unless you go along with me. But uh, I just uh, and Andrew Garfield was unmemorable. His movies. Were unmemorable. He was the best Spider-Man. Sorry, yeah, I agree. You can't name, you can't name the plot of any of his movies. We said the movies were bad, but he yeah, was the, the best Spider-Man. Bad, but he was. If you would have put him in Tobey Maguire spot, they would have been phenomenal. Well, we may get that. I don't know if Garfield's going to be the new one or not. I don't think so. Probably not. They don't I hear Maguire's supposed to be back. What? They're doing some yeah. sort of. He's like 100 years old now. How's no, he there's some sort of interdimensional multiverse. thing at Multiverse, yeah, where they're going to cross over, kind of like the, uh, yeah, the animated thing. Did. That was really good. The animated yeah. one was really good. The animated Spider-Man. We'll, we'll do one. We'll do one before we go. Is, In, is hold the, on. Is, Into the Spider-Verse is the best Spider-Man movie that's been made. Which one? Oh, Into the Spider-Verse. I agree. That's a. It's a comic. It's Have you seen it? Have you watched the animated movie? No. It's actually really good. You watch it tonight, and you'll agree. It's it's really good. If you like Spider-Man, you'll agree. Yes, because it's. Can I talk now? Maybe. Uh, Hold on. Okay, go. All right. <laughs> what are you giving us? It, it, I'll give you one. We're going to give you one little preview. The preview. All right. Doctor Strange, does it make your top 20? Does Doctor Strange make my top oh. 20? Oh. No. 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 And I love, I like that movie. There will not but... be a lot of Marvel movies in my top 20. No. Yeah, I, I don't think. I, I, I think Ragnarok might be mine. Ragnarok, Ragnarok was would very be good. In there. Yeah. Civil War was very good. No. Yeah. Yeah. I, any Captain. I just don't Ragnar- like Ragnarok. Rock will probably make my. Mind. I didn't like any of that. I didn't like the actor. The very first America, Avengers so. will be on there. Nah. I don't know about that either. The first it, Avengers only. Endgame will be on mine. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. You just no, gave well, up all credibility. No, well, I'm sorry. You gave up all credibility. My problem is going to be it's going to be hard to get 10. But, and then, now you want 20. Now it's going to be hard, to get, gonna be hard to get 20, yeah. too, because I don't really. It's not. Because I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to say, you know, this is. I, you know. Everybody else loves this movie, and I love it, but I don't think it's top 20 for me. All right. All right. And on that bombshell, we're going to get off here for real now. We love you guys. Like and subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace. Peace. The Gospel Broalition is done. Leaving behind charred mines, exhaust fumes, ammo, multiple uh, cigar wrappers, and an empty bottle. On Friday night? What's up? I see so. Every time we miss, he says, is there no show tonight? With Pastor Lee, J.R. Robinson, and the Hoosier. You're going to have to be here late, man. We're back now. Full force. For one week. For one week at least. We're going to take a week off the buildings. Cars, guns, cigars, and anything else flammable. We're crazy. talking about it. So, we hope you enjoyed you go, the show. We know we Studio have fun. Yeah. We'll be back yeah. soon. After and thank you for being a part of the Gospel Bro Alition. Oh, I'm going to look up some stuff and you know, see some sets that we like online.